It's time to climb the mountain! Hell Mountain! Hey everybody, welcome back to Doom. Today I am playing Call of Doom 0.5 Black Warfare. A Call of Duty style weapon mod with infinite weapons mode. Unlimited weapons mode, and of course I will be playing it with no rest for the living just to get the most out of it. Or attempt to get the most out of it. Wow. They weren't kidding about unlimited weapons. You're already getting a lot of different weapons, aren't you? Or at least two. Hey, buddy. Ah, you're getting the same weapon. Fair enough. Hm. Take that. Ooh, different weapon. Cool. What do we have here? Interesting. By the way, this is a, this is by request. The mod, not the the level set, obviously. Someone suggested, requested that I do this specific mod, this Call of, Call of Duty weapons mod, and I decided I'd just play for this. Uh oh. Screw you. How do I reload in this freaking thing? Okay, weapon reload, R, obviously. But how do I do it here? Night vision, friend. Why do you have to shake up the control for yourself, huh? Can't you just use the regular weapon reload? Would that not make more sense? Oh, crap. And thanks to that, I'm nearly dead. Although, maybe a little of it is kind of on me as well. I can't completely blame it. Weird how health is static. I guess not everything has to be Call of Duty. Some of it is unique. Is there any health around here? Oh, okay. A light plate... A light plate carrier. That's what I thought it said. Oh, good. I got a slight amount of health back. Cool. Now maybe I might not die nearly as fast. Or I'll just still die. You know what? It doesn't matter. A couple of points of health isn't going to let me live that much longer. Oh, I see. Running out of ammo, huh? What did that do? I see. Mmm, med kit. Wait a minute. What the? I see. Okay, how do I use med kits? That has to be its own thing, too? Knife attack. C4. Ah, med kit. I guess this. Satellite phone. Tactical beacon. Claymore. You get a lot of stuff, don't you? Yeesh. Okay. Sure. There. Maybe I injected too quick. What did that open? I'd really like to know that. Ah. Whatever it opened. Must have been over there. Well, I can just open this. Ah, now I think I understand. There's a door behind the door. There we go. That's what it was... That's what it was teasing me with. Cool. So I've got this weapon. Not bad. You got something to say, Imp? With my inability to shoot, apparently. And then it immediately worked. What do you got to say to me now, shotgunner? Ah, uh, you ain't got crap to say now, do you, sunny boy? Well, you had something to say, but unfortunately it fell on deaf ears. Ouch. Now see, that's how you make your point known. Hello, Pinky. Pinky in the brain. Thanks, pumpkin. Ooh, double wielding. 
Now that's cool. Ah, shortcut. Let's just love them. I love me some shortcuts. Mm. Yep. That's what I thought. Pretty cool. You even get to dual wield. Reminds me of old blood. I know that it wasn't the first one to do that. That was first in New Order, but I like old blood better, so I'm just going to associate it with old blood. Is that okay? Although, to its credit, you reload both at once. Oh, wait. Ah, never mind. I forgot. Goldeneye Rogue Agent did the whole dual wielding. Actually, Goldeneye 64 did dual wielding before anyone else, as far as I'm, as far as I know. And then Goldeneye Rogue Agent also had it, and it also had the ability to dual wield with any other weapon. Goldeneye 64 could technically do that, but you had to sort of fool it into doing that. It wasn't meant to be. It wasn't an intended function. Well, isn't that convenient? You stupid prick. You stupid bastard. I heard it try to take a chomp out of me. So where is it? Okay. I guess it just disappeared into the ethos, didn't it? That's fine. Huh. Well then. I'm already at the exit. I technically don't need to continue any further. And part of me doesn't even know how. Unless... Unless there's some way to get in there. But all I have is an auto map. How could I possibly know? Maybe paying the slightest bit of attention. That works, right? Hello. Hmm, interesting. Ah, nice. Thanks, buddy. Whoa, back up, son. Back up, Billy Bob. I see it's also blood bond as well, because I noticed it's making them bleed on top of my color change. Because I did edit GZ Doom PK3 because the color changes to the blood annoyed me. Like Hell Knight's bleeding red, even though they're supposed to be bleeding green. But it seems to have carried over. This seems to be adding blood. Probably to make it look more like Call of Duty. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, buddy Jim. Oh, I see. He can't hold down both buttons at once. He just toggle it. Because for some reason, I feel a compulsion to just hold down the right click, which makes the left click not work. My mistake. Ooh, nice. Armor, baby. Armor. Can't wait to see how that opens. Should be really fun, right? Probably by getting that yellow key, right? How much you want to bet? Once I get that yellow key, crap is going to go down, isn't it? I just have to figure out how to get the yellow key. Probably by going back up. And then jumping on it. Yes, that seems about right, doesn't it? Geronimo! Not high enough. We must go further. Further beyond. There we go. That's more like it. Told ya! You thought I was kidding. I remember. Yes, I remember enough. Actually, no, I didn't really remember. All I know is that there's always traps like this. You don't have to remember to know. All you have to do is remember, in Doom in general, it's just gonna pull that crap. There you go. I guess this is its way of compensating for having to reload. You just do a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. It's not a lot of damage. Now we're talking. There's a freaking revenant somewhere. Damn. Take this. Oh, you son of a. 
Really? I've got no ammo left for any of my other weapons? Now that's a lie, I do. How come you switched me to the pistol then? You'd think the pistol would be low priority enough. Oh boy. Well, good thing that happened to work. Nicely done. This has been quite a crazy level. But then again, isn't it always? Even vanilla was crazy. I can't I can't thank the mod entirely. It's a lot of it is just on the level itself. Which is in fact a cluster F. This craziness. All the mod did was give me more recourse to kill him. It increased my firepower. Five out of seven secrets, huh? Douchebag. They expect me to concentrate with you on my arse, huh? Ah, there's the two secrets. And as luck would have it, they're in the same area. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> wow, this shotgun is really cool, really good. Okay. Now what I need to do is go on yonder and activate the two secrets or the one secret that I have no idea how to trigger because it's a little bit cryptic and if anything's a little bit cryptic I can't figure it out ah well, that explains it take this I hope you enjoyed that what the heck is this well, whatever it is, it's really powerful. These are really powerful guns. All of them are really powerful, like I said before. Huh. Oh, okay. There's something over there. That's probably one of the secrets. Probably not going to find the seventh one, just because I don't want to bother. But, I can at least find this one. What the, what the world? Oh. This... How do I open this? There's gotta be a way. Some kind of clue in here. Whatever it is, I've got no idea. Probably that. <laughs> they die really fast, don't they? I like it. I'm loving this gun. This gun specifically. It's very good. Okay, I think I'm just about done here. Like I said, there, there's another secret, but screw it. I couldn't care. I couldn't be bothered. Unless that's supposed to be the secret, of which it is not. It even has water effects. I just noticed. Can't believe I didn't notice that before. It's, in some ways, it's like brutal doom. In just that, it increases the blood and it. Improves the effects somewhat. It's a nice mod. Of course, it isn't truly a Call of Duty mod unless it makes everything brown. <laughs> Sorry, was I going too far? Well, to be fair, newer Call, of, newer games in the PS4 era have largely gone away, done away with the whole real is brown kind of thing. But man, in the PS3 era, it was like nothing but brown. Ocean of Brown. That's why when I live stream Fallout, when I li was live streaming Fallout 3 and New Vegas, I insisted upon at least visual mods just so it was, wasn't so ugly to look at, just because the yellowish brown is not my style. I mean, yeah, maybe you could argue in, in New Vegas's case it's supposed to look like a desert, but I don't know. Even, even deserts in real life don't look that bleak. I just prefer it with a little color, you know? Visual eye candy. I'd like there to be some kind of flair. It's not like you it's not like you have to sacrifice realism to have some color in a wasteland, and Bethesda themselves proved that because Fallout 4 and onward, there's there's a lot of color in it despite being wastelands. So that's what I'm saying. If, hell, if you look at, Cher at Chernobyl, because of the plant life that's growing in there, it's quite colorful. Just saying. 
It's a new weapon, I see. So, let's try it out. What do you know? It's another automatic weapon. Automatic rifle. You've seen one, you've seen them all, huh? Seems like the most different is the the iron sight. Another one! Another one that could be just about any automatic weapon, really. There you go. Take this. Well, isn't this fun? I guess we know who would win between a soldier from Call of Duty and the, 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 the monsters from Doom. Then again, it seems like these weapons are a little OP to make up for the reloading. If they were as powerful as would be realistic, like maybe no more powerful than the Doom weapons, he would be at an obvious disadvantage because he has to reload. Just saying. Although, to be fair, Call of Duty does still have trained soldiers. But then again, they can only have a limited sprint mechanic, so... In many ways, the Call of Duty guy is beefed up compared to how he would be in the actual Call of Duty, so... Maybe it's not a valid comparison, because otherwise it would seem like the Call of Duty guy is more capable than the Doom Marine, which is obviously not true. Just saying. I keep switching weapons. That's what, I guess that's the, the nature of things when you've got the unlimited one. Hello. I love how he's bleeding both green and red. It's kind of funny. Oh boy. Maybe I should heal. Although, that is one way in which his power was actually decreased. Because he can't just regenerate health now. He's basically in the Doom universe. He has to play by its rules. Maybe that's why he also got the buffs. Because of being in the Doom universe. He can move as fast as the Doom Marine, too. The unrealistic parts work in his advantage somewhat. Let's say. I was almost worried that it crashed for a second there. That would have sucked. I'm glad it didn't. Come on. Come on, you cackin' demon. What do you got? Surprisingly, you've got very little. Go figure. Hmm, yes, indeed. Oh, I see. Same, literally the same area. No advantage one way or the other. Okay, these pain elementals are starting to get uh, becoming a pain in my elemental, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, nice. You can also interrupt the reload after reloading some of them. So that, that's a nice effect if you're, your back's against the wall and you need to kill something now. Just saying. It's pretty cool. There we go. Evidently, using more than one causes his heart to become elevated. But thankfully, using two of them has no unfortunate side effects. You just gotta wait until the heartbeat stops. And then you could probably shove more of them in there if you wanted to. I wonder how to get in there. That would be interesting to find out, wouldn't it? Because it is an all-seeing map. Oh. That <laughs> makes sense. That was easy. Didn't have to look too far. You would think an all-revealing map would be something you'd have to really look in deep for. Like you find a switch, and then it has a time-activated elevator or something, and then a bunch of crap. Excellent. Mondo cool. Hello, buddy. Nice. I'm just finding secrets all over the place. But then again, I really can't take the credit. <laughs> the uh, revealing auto map is putting in pretty much all of the work. So, yeah. Oops. Searching in the wrong place. And even in the right place, it's not opening. That's okay, it's probably over here. Yep. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, I see. Cool. That's 9 out of 12, not too bad. Let's see if we can get even more. Another weapon. 
Just can't get enough of getting me weapons, can they? Oh. I see. I guess there's no way to switch to, like, a knife or something. You gotta use some kind of hotkey, I would assume. That's too bad. That's a damn shame. Oh. <laughs> One way only. My bad. Any others? Any other secrets that are obvious, at least? Because I'm not seeing any. Unless... Press something else to make that open, which I'm guessing is not tr not the case. Oh well, I can at least scav and scavenge a bit. I always miss something going through things the first time, mostly because there's just a lot of crap to get. Just saying. You know, nine out of twelve ain't bad, especially when I get to exit the level with 200% health, baby. I love it when I can do that. Canyon of the Dead. Hmm. Right. I guess it's a good thing I'm not gonna be able to get up to map five. If I remember correctly, map five was infamous for being pretty tough. And it gave me a hard time too. Not that's too surprising, I'm not exactly an expert doom player. But I think I'm decent. At least in determining the enemy AI. You know, when I actually pay attention to them. At least we'll reload right now. This is the thing about these kind of games. You will obsessively hit that reload button when you don't have to. Just to make sure, absolutely sure, that you have a complete clip. Because otherwise, you're gonna die. Or at least you'll take some damage. Ouch. Well, that had nothing to do with reloading, but I'm just going to... I'm just gonna say it did. Just because. Take this! Nice. Oh, crap. Well, at least I gave as good as I got. Where are you? you? Stupid prick. Give me some of that. Oh, you can take as many as you want, can't you? It doesn't matter. It just, it just makes that sound on its own. My mistake. I just made that assumption that if you take them too fast, something bad might happen. Nope, this isn't one of those kind of games trying to be realistic. Apparently there there is a, a mod of some kind with realism added that makes it so that if you take too many stim packs on Fallout, they become toxic to you. Because you're basically injecting morphine into yourself and you can easily overdose on that. I think you can, you can actually slip into, slip into a coma if you overdose on morphine. But I don't remember exactly. Hello, buddy boy. Are there any weapons that I haven't used yet? Other than just all the different types of pistols? Ooh, this actually looks like it's a ranged weapon. You actually zoom in a little bit. Instead of just having an iron sight. Ha! Now this is cool. Okay, anything else? I want to try out everything as much as I can. Stupid prick. Oh, you get more than one kind of shotgun. That's cool. It's double barrel. Which means you get two shots. But they are really powerful shots. It really compensates. That is one powerful bang. Holy crap. Two shot kill. Nice. It's like the freaking gauze cannon from Doom 2016. In siege mode, no less. Look at that. It's freaking awesome. Holy crap. It's taking them out in one shot. That does more damage than the freaking rocket launcher. And that was at a, at a distance, too. Just one shot in the caca demons. It's 
freaking awesome. Okay. I guess if you're far enough away that it doesn't do max damage, it doesn't always one-shot Kaka Demons, but even so, pretty damn impressive. It's like a hand cannon. Almost. Well, not almost. Pretty much just exactly. Raise the bridge. So that I can get in there. What do you got, huh? Nice. If I remember correctly, the Mancubus was the only real threat behind here. Just a bunch of imps and a hell knight. Oh no, please don't hurt me. I'm not, I'm not, def I can't defend myself. I'm defenseless. Jeez, I forgot about this trap. Should have realized though. Maybe it's time to swing back to the hand cannon. Nicely done. As always. Ah, much better. That's the good stuff, baby. <laughs> That's just cool. Okay, anything else you got for me, level? Or is it just time for me to giddy on out of here? As I really don't care either way, I'm gonna I'm leaving. Hell Mountain. It's time to climb the mountain. Hell Mountain. Now I remember this. Rick. Douchebag. What do you got, huh? Funny thing is I affectionately nicknamed this, at least in the save file. Cod rest for the living. You get it? Because no rest for the living. Three shots, huh? So it is basically two fifths stronger. It's it's like 40% stronger than a rocket blast. If I'm reading this correctly, or at least at higher at a higher strength level. And this is pretty much just a regular. Well, it's a regular super shotgun blast because I'm pretty sure that's how many super shotguns they normally take to go down. Yeesh. Nuts. Oh boy. Both in the good way and the bad way. Thankfully, I've got plenty of these. Obviously, there's a limit. You can only recover up to 100. As with regular med kits. Oh boy. Damn it all. Just die. Just die. Hurry up and die so I can focus on the chain gunner. I mean, right now you're missing, but you might not. You might realize how stupid it is aiming like that. I don't want to take that risk. Dang. This is my fallback weapon, and it's still really powerful. Take this. Now that's more like it. I may need something a little stronger to take on the Mancubus. There we go. Nighty night, sweet prince. Seeing as how I have only a minute left, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give myself everything just to see what kind of weapons you really get your hands on. Okay, whatever that is, it looks interesting. All of these look interesting. AKM. The AKA 47? Is that what you meant? Let's see how powerful this is. Nice. It melts right through them. It's like the it's like a plasma rifle. Pretty awesome. What do you get here? Ah, grenade launcher, of course. Spot five would be explosives. Explosives! Or just an explosive. Because there's just one, it won't change. No, that's fine. How about this? I see the sixth slot is just for weapons like this. The 
the seventh slot where the BFG would normally go is for weapons like these. Let's see. Still really powerful though. The zero. Ooh, it's a sniper rifle. Oh, it's a rapid fire sniper rifle. It's a semi-automatic sniper rifle. In that it'll fire as fast as you can pull the trigger. Feels really satisfying though. And you can shoot really fast if you want to. Unfortunately, I am all out of time. In fact, I'm going over my time limit right now, so I'm gonna have to end this here. So, that is it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like the amount of guns of pretty much nearly identical stats that you can get in Call of Duty. And I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out, have a good one, and have a nice and pleasant day. If you enjoyed the content and want to stay up to date, I upload 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day. You can also subscribe and hit the bell icon or just check out the end screens right here.